If you truly are this patriot you pretend to be, you wave your American flag and wear your little lapel pin and put the nice magnet on the back of your car. Well, you know, if you believe in any of that crap and you really do believe in this country, then you would probably do what you can to have a lower your tax rate. But you wouldn't go to like Ruthian you know, limits to do what you can to, to charter companies in Bermuda and to throw money into the Grand Cayman and do God knows what else to pay nothing. You wouldn't necessarily take $77,000 write-offs for the dancing horse Rafalca. All right. There's a point where it gets ridiculous, and we all know what that point is. And so it's, it's, it's not being hypocritical. I mean, it really is Sam, the definition of antisocial. To lower your tax rate. Isn't so do it, I. We all do. Isn't but it really he's ridiculous? De- isn't it the definition of antisocial at that point? I mean, because it's not just like uh, you know, I don't like to go out to parties. It's like I am willing. I don't care about society's cohesion and adhesion enough to not, you know, I'm going to, I don't know. I, I just find the whole thing just sort of absolutely ridiculous. And you know what? God bless. We only just got a couple minutes here. God bless Harry Reid. I love it. I love oh, it. So do I. I love it. I love it that Maybe he the best said this stuff. Done in five he years. took the stupid Maybe comments ten. from John Stewart saying, like, you're horrible, Harry Reid, for saying, look, the idea that what Reid is saying is baseless or is in any way like, when was the last time you stopped hitting your wife? Those things are absolutely not true. I cannot prove that I stopped beating my wife. I cannot prove a negative. Mitt Romney could prove in one minute by, uh, how much, uh, whether or not he paid taxes by doing what his dad said must be done to not avoid shenanigans like Romney's obviously engaged in. He, th- so th- yes. and, and the idea that it's baseless is also ridiculous because every tax expert who's written from Forbes to Bloomberg to wherever, whatever outlet it is, every conservative commentator from, uh, fr- you know, uh, Crown Bill Heimer Crystal to too. Crystal yep. to whoever it is, has said, release the taxes. What's going on here? This is a mystery. We don't know what's in there. Why has he got $150 million in an IRA and no other American in the country can seem to figure out how you do that? I mean, the, the idea that it's baseless is also a joke. And so I right. love uh, to what me, he's the doing. whole point is, is I love what Harry Reid is doing, and I'm just annoyed that more people aren't doing it. I'm writing a column today about Romney called The Aristocrat for my weekly column, and I'm going to make all sorts of speculation about what I think he's doing. And I have nothing to base it on. But you know what? I don't care. Because to me, until he releases it, until he comes forward no, 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 with, but you with have the documentation... To base it on. You have something well, to base I mean, it on. Look, listen, the bottom line is, it is standard practice for presidential candidates to release five, ten years' worth of taxes. That's standard practice. He has now deviated from that practice and cannot explain why. We know, we know that he had accounts in Bermuda. We know that he had accounts in the Cayman Islands. We know that he had accounts in Switzerland. We know that he has an absurd amount of money in his IRA. He is deviating from the norm. He has a corporation in Bermuda. We don't know what it does. He's deviating from the norm. And so the basis of those, uh, that speculation is a fundamental question that is undeniable. He is doing something that has no explanation in any other, in, 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 in any other way other than he's trying to hide something. This isn't um, President Obama can't get the state of, uh, of Hawaii to release a, um, the original uh, <laughs> person. No, I'm serious because people are com- uh, comparing it. Uh, you know, th- there is a... There is an explanation as to why he's not carrying around a laminated version of his birth certificate. Uh, there is no explanation that anyone has offered other than you people don't deserve to see it as to why right. he is deviating from the norm that presidential candidates have done. And you know what? I don't think that necessarily means he's done something illegal, but he's clearly hiding something that he thinks is right. detrimental. Right. I, I don't know. Students. Let's be clear. Um, my guess is it's probably not something illegal. It could be. But my guess is it's just something that would be so offensive that he used right. so many so many of the, uh, you know, uh, you know son-of-boss type uh, maneuvers to, to, I mean, you know, what Reed's speculating, it may not be 10 years, it may be a couple of years, but a lot of people were speculating, a lot of actual tax experts were speculating that in 2009, there's a reason why he can't release the years before that and not release 2009. And being that that was right after the crash, uh, you know, uh, that he could have had so many write-offs from his various investments from losses that he could have paid no taxes that year. That's very legitimate to think that may be true. Is that uh, the U.S. government um, uh, in early 2009? 
uh, got documents from UBS of seeing that there was a bunch of people evading taxes by hiding secret accounts in Switzerland. And they basically said to these people, give it, they said to UBS, give us the list of these people. We're going to contact them. We'll give them a one-off opportunity to, uh, a one-off opportunity to, um, uh, to, to pay, repatriate pay repatriate your, your money, uh, pay a fine, and we will not send you to jail. And there's every reason to believe that he was on that list of people in 2009. I would be, I would be surprised at all. So, and, I mean, and when Romney says things, put up or shut up, mention, you should put up or shut but, up. You know, that's like uh, Gary Hart saying, follow me around, see if I'm cheating on my <laughs> wife. Well, that's what I'm saying. And I'm, I think I have the right to speculate. For example, was it that? Was it UBS? Was it 2009? Was it an investment in a potential uh, Newt Gingrich moon colony replete with sexual slavery? These are all things I think are worth asking. Indeed. And so I want to know, and I'm going to speculate today. 